Hello guys, welcome into another video here on the Banjo Addicts page. Thank you for tuning in, I greatly appreciate it. Today I want to talk a little bit about banjo licks and why you should learn to play banjo licks as soon as you learn to play the banjo. There's a ton of videos out there that'll teach you to learn banjo licks, which is not what I'm going to do today. I just want to talk about how important it is to learn banjo licks. If you're interested in learning some banjo licks, I will put some videos in the description down here that are phenomenal videos to watch if you want to learn new banjo licks. Now, if you've been playing banjo any period of time, I know that you've heard of banjo licks. It's not mm, licking the banjo, no. It's banjo licks on the banjo. It's different roll progression. Sometimes you can change from one chord to the next with a banjo lick. There's also intro banjo licks that you will want to learn to start a song with, and there's outro banjo licks or ending banjo licks that you'll want to learn to end songs with. <laughs> shave and a haircut but uh, is a just a simple banjo lick now outside of your intro banjo licks and your ending banjo licks there's other banjo licks that you can get from one chord to the next which is phenomenal in songs if you ever get to a point to where you want to start kind of making music your own and playing things your own you find banjo licks that you really like to play and you find songs that you can fit it into and that is one of the greatest feelings in the world is when you can do that especially if you can find a song that you like and say you got a, a C lick that you want to change out for another C lick and the timing's right and everything works out right where you can fit that in there then it changes the song up and makes it your own and that's when you hear people saying i make the song my own well that's it because they've got a pocket full of banjo licks in their pocket they can pull it out at any time in any song when they're know they're going to a certain uh a certain chord if they're going to a c chord they know a c chord banjo lick that will fit in right here and they can kind of just boom pop it in there so what you want to do as a beginning banjoist and, and this is after some time after you've kind of learned all the basics of playing the banjo when you start start into playing songs right then you want to start into learning banjo licks you want to look up banjo licks on YouTube, you want to look up banjo licks, get some banjo lick books. You want to learn, you want to start pocketing those banjo licks. You want to put them in that back pocket and you want to have them to pull it like wide up in the wild west. Here's my banjo lick, bam, and nail it. And you want people to go, hey man, what's that lick that you just done right there? That's that's pretty cool. What was it? How do you do that? Uh, and after a while, and what I've found out through what my playing is you'll be playing something and you don't even realize that you've done it. You've played this lick in this song and somebody will come up afterwards and be like, hey man, that thing you done in this song, what what did you do right there? What what, what was that? And you have to actually have to go back through, uh, go back through what you done and be like, uh, oh yeah, this is, you know, this is the banjo lick. And guys, it ain't gotta be anything, especially starting out, you ain't gotta do anything very intricate on your banjo lick. Just learn something pretty simple, pretty simple. Start out with a song and what I what I done when I first started was I started out with a song like what was it Shuck the Corn uh, Shuck in the Corn I think's the name of the song song and I figured out what licks were in it what chord licks were in it. and I think there's a C lick in there and then there was another C lick I went and learned and then I figured out how to insert that take the C lick out that's in Shuck in the Corn and put the C lick in that I'd learned and I'm gonna be honest with you that day that I done that I was like I was amazed I was the only person on earth in my mind that had ever done that you know. Uh, of course, uh, everybody does that, uh, and you'll find that out. But like when you're in jam sessions too, like you can be playing songs and you can do a different lick to a song in a jam session with a group, something they may have never heard of before, or you know, it's a little bit different than the same old standard dueling banjos. All right, guys, like everything else, I just wanted to put out a, a video about that because I got to thinking about it, and I remember when I first started, there wasn't a whole lot of reasons why you learn banjo. I heard, I've seen all kinds of videos on banjo licks, and here's a new banjo lick, and here's a banjo lick, but I never did understand why it was important to learn the banjo lick. Again, the main reason, just to recap, is you want to be able to insert banjo licks into songs. You can interchange banjo licks in songs, and that's what you want to, what you really want to work on, and you want to become very good at that to where you can kind of ease one in and it just be just as smooth as silk. Thank you all for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And we will see you all next week. Keep on a picking.